my beautiful and amazing family how are you all doing thank you very much for always supporting me i really do appreciate if to those the first time you are coming across this channel this is agatha progress channel on youtube and i come across your way every blessed day as you can see in this channel we react to all videos and in this channel all opinion is highly needed in the comment section and if you love what i am doing in this channel why don't you click on that button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon so that we become one big family all right my wonderful family this video we're about to watch i don't know how you felt about this video but i do hope you got some lesson from it all right my wonderful people let's go straight into the video now watch it I'm annoying with the nation, the leaders are annoying with them. Even all these Boko Haram, all these, we're supposed to attack them. They're supposed to go to their houses, burn their houses, destroy them. Because they're supposed to know what they're supposed to do, they are not doing it. By the husband, they told us that this man is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a tribalist, a tribal jingoist. We refuse, we say he must have learned his lessons. Having come so many times to try to see how we can change this country, we, we thought that he has changed, he has a changed mind. But what are we seeing now? You can go after some people from the south and from the west who have committed no offense. But you see nothing wrong in people of your, of your, of your tribe who are killing dozens and millions of people elsewhere and causing unrest in different parts of this country. We were one of the proponents of this uh, government called APC. In fact, we invested so much in this government and uh, in the person of Buhari. Uh, uh, and uh, now I am regretting why I had to do that. Not just for myself, but for so many people that I gathered and then told them that this government is going to be a government that will change their lives for the better. I cannot even go to my village again because I had already campaigned so much and made them to believe so much in this government. And I started noticing uh, an abysmal performance and lack of direction in this government right from the time that this government is three months. Because a, a, a government, a person that has been campaigning, that has been contesting election for several years, it will take you a month to know who you want to use in the government. It took, after three months of voting in election, it took another uh, nine months before, uh, after inauguration, before he was able to name his ministers. That was the beginning of the downfall of this government. And we knew that this government was heading to abyss. The country is bad. From Obasanjo time to Buhari time, no single factory produced, or the one that already abandoned, they are not doing anything. That is why the young one that passed out, passed, finished from school, they have no job to do. No factory, no job, nothing. So the leaders in question, they don't have something in me. I don't know what they are thinking. They don't think about anything industries. They don't think about the, in Nigeria today, we don't have federal farm, we don't have state farm, we don't have local government farm, then how will we raise food? So with this, they are making budget of trillions of in agri. Where did the money go? Somebody will pass out from school, no job, they don't even think about that. One family collects small salary, feed 10 people. That person is still poor. Some have no money, they can't pay the house rent, they can't. Life becomes unbearable to people. Sorrow is full of the land. The, the nation is full of hunger against the leaders. They don't do anything. When they are time, there are a lot of factories in Lagos, in Abad, Potakot, Kanu, Kaduna, Medugri, factories. We have Tesla industry has been closed down. They don't even think of how to bring it. We don't have cotton. Cotton plantations are not working. Nothing are working. Paper mill is not working. Everything important, important. So, in short, everybody is, me, I'm annoying with the nation. The leaders are annoying with them. Even all these Boko Haram, all these, we're supposed to attack them. They're supposed to go to their houses, burn their houses, destroy them. Because they're supposed to know what they're supposed to do. They are not doing it. 
employment in this country. I have more than seven in my house now. A person that is above 18 years is living with his parents. It's an aberration. It's an aberration. He talks slow on the government of this country and it shows that you don't have a direction. When you talk about the, 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 the insecurity, it is countless. It is all over. It has engulfed the nation. And it's like there's no direction anymore. In other better climes, in other uh, better climes, the president, the person of the president, or the hem, people at the hems of affairs, will quietly resign and say, look, I, I, can, I discovered that I can no longer handle this issue. So please, let another person who thinks can handle this, let him come. But, you know, he, is, you know, he has glued himself to the seat of power and is refusing to go. And that is why we, 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 are, we are calling on all well-meaning Nigerians to change their perception and their, their direction in this coming election. In this coming election, to change both parties because what we have done to PDP, we have seen the wars in APC. So we should change direction this time. We should have to change direction this time. We will look out for somebody who will take this country from the peak, pit to the peak, and from the grass to grace. We can do it. We can do it. If only we have the good of the people at heart and we mean to do well for this country, not to look at our, our personal aggrandizement and to look at our personal effort, even when people are complaining. They say we are tired, we are dying, people are dying of hunger. Right now, I have to pay for somebody's meal right from where I'm coming now. He walk up to me and say, sir, please, can you buy me a, 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 a plate of food? I say, so, I, I have to pay. I have to buy food for him. If the right for education still exists in Nigeria, why, whereby parents are afraid of sending their children to school? I, I, I think this calls for a serious concern, and the government is not doing anything about it. They are not being proactive about this insecurity. People will go to school and go and have children in school. I think that is... That is it's all, and government need to sit tight and do something about this. I, I, I don't think that people that do this thing they are faceless. Just like uh, 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 some government officials are saying that they are faceless. They are not faceless. They are human beings. They are not spirits. So the government have to sit up and, and, and make sure Nigeria is at peace again. How do you live in a country? People are passed out from university, polytechnic, basic study, and the rest, but no job for them. Where do you think them to survive? You carry peanut, so to go learn something. And that money you are giving them has not even take care of them. They don't have where to sleep. They don't have where to live. So that is why the leaders in ruling these countries are annoying people. They suppose these people are all these uh, bandits, all these supposed to go against them. Not to go out to survive the less privileged people in the village. So that is why I'm not, me personally, I'm not happy with the leaders. There are some sabotage and organized arrangement to destabilize the country. How can you tell me that people are coming from outside Nigeria to come into the country without nobody monitoring them? Is it possible? How again can you tell me that people are kidnapping every day, keeping some people somewhere, making money out of it? This morning I just had that three people were rescued from the Baptist children after paying ransom. Where are those people? Can you tell me if we are organized and go into the bush at the Chuku local government or Kachia local government, we can't see the kidnappers? You tell me. 120 something or 220 something were kidnapped in a night with which kind of buses or train or what where, where are they playing on our intelligence it's economy is another problem look at today now uh, I, I learned that a, a dollar is going for about 500 plus or close to 600 naira you know exchange rate dollar and that has escalated price of you know uh, 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 items in the country and making people to live in penury. Nigeria is a blessed country. We have a lot of resources. Where are the money generated from resources? Where are they going to? And keep on and we still keep on borrowing money. They borrow money, 
the 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 the, 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 the you, you cannot see infrastructure debate. You know, they, they are, they are spent, just just only only on, on the rail. There are a lot of infrastructure that need to be that that need to be worked on. The government is not sincere, and uh, another thing that I, I know is that there's nobody that's keeping them on the check. There's no serious opposition. Today I read in the paper this, uh, this morning that uh, uh, about seven people, seven national officers want to resign from PDP. PDP is not helping matter. They are not a strong opposition that Nigeria really wants. I'm looking at a day where all these things will be exposed. Because nobody, no security man will tell me that you don't know how to locate where our children are. How can you be telling us? Are they underground? We have all the equipment, we have all the technology to do what you want to do. We don't want to do it. I'm highly disappointed, my sister. That is a very good question. Do you mean to say if men enter the forest in another part of Nigeria, they will not see any funani men, they will not see the kidnappers? They will see a lot of them, but... <laughs> They are the same people, so they don't even go after them. They only go after the ones in the southeast. Still, we don't really have the sense to control ourselves. All right, my wonderful people, that please subscribe and join this beautiful family. See you when I see you. Bye bye.